Hello my friends, I'm Duchess and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be showing you how I shade my webtoon. Let's get started. Disclaimer, I am not a professional artist or webtoon creator, but here are my tips that I think might be helpful to you as a newbie webtoon creator who has been making a small webtoon for about a year now. Thank you so much to Ufi Owo for requesting this video. I'm very sorry if I pronounced that wrong. I appreciate you guys for commenting and asking questions, so please feel free to ask me anything in the comments below that is related to art or webtoon. So here is a panel that I am currently working on. I'm a little behind on my webtoon making, but I'll catch up soon, hopefully. If you follow along, you probably know that I color most of my webtoon on one layer. I have a total of about four layers for coloring for most of my episodes. One for the body and the clothes, one for their hair, one for their eyes and eyebrows, and then one for the background. The way that I color influences the way that I shade. The method I always use is the clipping mask method. I've shown you guys before in a previous video, but I'll show you guys again in more detail. So I first add another layer above the coloring layer that I want to shade. I usually always shade the background first, but I think the video will be more fun if I shade my character first, so I'm going to shade that. I set it to the clipping mask setting by clicking on the layer that I want. Then these many wonderful options show up on the left side. Click clipping mask. And now there's this little hook arrow that shows what the layer is clipped to. This means that whatever you color on this layer will only show up on the art that the layer is clipped to. So the benefits of this, of using the clipping mask layer, is that when you shade, it doesn't directly affect the art because you're not shading directly on top of the art. It's like indirectly. So whatever you do on this layer, you can erase and it won't erase the colors that you used if that makes sense. Then I add the effect multiply, which basically darkens and intensifies the colors that I use. Click the N on the right side of the layer. Now I scroll to the multiply effect here and I set the layer to this effect. I added another layer, but this time I leave the effect as it is at the automatic normal option. This is going to be used later when I add the blush and the lip colors. I like to use really saturated colors to shade because I think bright colors look good and that's just my art style. So I select my colors and I just shade. One thing that I do do differently from my webtoon art compared to my regular art is the shading. I don't do a ton of shading for my webtoon art because it takes an extremely long amount of time to shade a single drawing. I spend about three hours per detailed drawing and I don't have the ability to commit that much time to shading on my webtoon. So I have found a way to simplify my shading process so that it's more efficient but still satisfies my shading standards. When I shade, I always make sure to, to make rounder shapes and not very sharp ones. The human body is pretty curvy and nothing is really straight and even unless that is your art style and if it is then you could probably shade with sharper shapes. After I shade the body, I move on to shading the hair. For the hair, I add another layer and set it to the clipping mask setting. For the hair, I use three clipping mask layers and right now I have one. An easy way to add clipping mask layers without changing the setting every time is by making one clipping mask layer. So I have one already, right? Right here. Now I select the layer that it's clipped to, the colored one. Then I add two more layers above it. You can see that the two newly added layers have been made as clipping mask layers. And this is because we created the layers between a clipping mask layer and then the clipped layer that has the colors. I hope that makes sense. For the layer closest to the clipped layer, I set the effect to multiply. For the next layer, I set it to color dodge. For the final layer, I set the effect to add. I'm not sure exactly what color dodge really does, but, or like what the actual definition of it is, but I love how it looks and I feel like it makes the best highlights for hair, so that's why I use that effect. Add intensifies and brightens the colors I use, so it's essentially the opposite of multiply. And it's pretty similar to color dodge, but it's more intense, so I use that to brighten things up. Like if the sun is hitting my characters, I use add, I use the add effect to like imitate the sunlight. 
Now I shade on the multiply layer, I make the darker areas of the hair darker. On the color dodge layer, I make these shapes on their hair to make highlights. On the add layer, I just do some minimal touches here and there to make the hair look a little bit brighter. Don't forget to be mindful of your light source and keep in mind where it's coming from so your drawings are consistent. You don't want your first drawing to have the light coming from the left and then the second one is coming from the right. Unless you're changing up the perspectives and the angles of your drawings, then I guess it can get a little bit more complicated. Next, I shade her eyes. Eyes require three clipping mask layers as well, so let's add three like we did before. Now I set the first one to multiply, the second one to add, and leave the last one as it is at the normal option. I shade the iris on the multiply layer with a darker color, add some pretty color on the add layer to make the eyes brighter, and I color the pupil and the highlights on the normal layer. Now that I'm done shading my character, I'm going to go back to all the shading layers and just lightly blend a few areas so it looks better. I normally blend and shade very heavily, but if I just shade and blend like this, it's okay too and it's easier for me. I just blend areas that have a lot of shaded spots. Alright, so here is my shaded webtoon drawing. Thank you again for requesting this video. I'm very glad you guys like these. I have a list of requested videos, so I'm sorry if I don't get to your requested video right away. If I have told you guys that I will make a video on it, don't worry, I've got you. That is all I have for you guys this week. If you guys enjoyed this week's video or learned something new, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get notified. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you guys next week.